Hi friends, uh, this is the roof level of the building. The roofs are supported by sheet and woods. Here you see the sheets. The sheets are many types, plain sheet or angle sheets. Uh, in our construction we use angle sheet for the wood uh, roof work. The sheet has a dimension of 3 feet length and 2 feet width. Uh, the plain sheet is, has more dimension than the angle sheets. Um, in between the two angle sheets, there will be the position of the wood. This is only for the gripness. Uh, this is a column zone. Uh, if we need to raise the building to the upper level, uh, this one has required additions of another bars. The, this is a lapping zone. Um, the lapping of the compression member has 50 into D or 50 into diameter and tensile member is 40 into D. It is a lapping length. Uh, now you see the staircase area. The staircase is a different various type, dog leg staircase, plane staircase, etc. Um, in our construction it is a commercial site so we use the straight staircase. Uh, the staircase is uh, designed by the various formulas. The number of steps are determined by um, height of the staircase divided by uh, size of the riser. In our construction we provide 10 feet height for the staircase and 6 inches for the um, riser. The 10 divided by 0 0.5 feet means 20 steps. Uh, in that, uh, uh, let me see, in that slope, we use only 20 steps for the uh, staircase. Uh, these are the space uh, leave for the reinforcing the bars uh, for beam. Uh, the beams are uh, laid and uh, injected in that the column area. Uh, here we see the four spaces for the um, beams. Uh, all the four uh, side beams are uh, connected in that column. Uh, this is the most conjected area uh, the extra vibration is required for that area. Uh, these necessary provisions are made. Okay, now you see the corridor area of the building. This is a corridor area. These are uh, um, uh, carefully made uh, because the it is a cantilever uh, shape. Uh, one end is fixed and the another end is free. So we provide the necessary support by uh, wood and uh, jackies. Uh, first, uh, the corridor is made by providing uh, the bottom by wood and then supported by uh, jackies and wood and the sheet is laid at the top. Um, okay, now you see the front step. At the same as uh, I previously told, uh, this has 7 feet height and the riser has 6 inches. Uh, 7 divided by 6 inches is equal to 14 feet, 14 steps. Uh, in that slope, we provided 14 steps. Uh, for the staircase and that area is landing. The landing also provided uh, outside in our uh, structure. Uh, these are the woods and the jackies for providing uh, the support, necessary support to the upper roof sheets uh, and the bottom woods. Uh, uh, in the in our site, uh, there is no reinforcements or uh, laying. Uh, after uh, one week, I uh, I give the uh, one video that gives all the details about um, roofs, roof structures. Uh, the roof is uh, divided by one-way slab and two-way slab. Uh, the one-way slab and the two-way slabs are determined by each uh, length. Uh, that is longer span divided by shorter span. Uh, the longer span divided by shorter span is greater than two, it is a one-way slab. If it is lesser than two, it is a two-way slab. Uh, the necessary calculations are made to determine the one-way slab and the two-way slab. Uh, after one week, uh, you will see the video that you um, refer anything about the roof structure. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.